We've all known people who love to be in the center of attention. Right? And then we also know of people who consciously stay out of the limelight. Too much self-promotion could be seen as bragging and this is not good for your personal or business reputation. That low-hanging thread of making the wrong impression could convince a would-be entrepreneur, business heads, creative minds, and freelancers to avoid self-marketing completely. By trying to move away from it, you are also missing valuable opportunities that could boost your career. If you are not willing to do that bit of self-promotion, who would? Striking a balance between demonstrating your skills and boasting about them, is indeed an effective self-promotional strategy. When you get that balance right, you will find an open door for promotions, new clients, and incredible opportunities. Business persons should figure out a way to market their wares in the market successfully. So how much self-promotion is good for you or your business? We help you find out in this video. What is self-marketing? A simple answer to that question is if you've got it, flaunt it. Self-marketing follows the same principle of marketing a brand or a business. It is all about showing the world what you do best and convince them that you are the answers to their problems. We have seen freelancers, job seekers, creative guys use this strategy to the fullest. Showing people your personal USP can be tagged as constructive self-promotion. Signifying your value through facts, stats, and results highlighting those things that make you special can be termed as constructive self-promotion. While boasting without backing up the claims, is nothing but destructive self-marketing. How to prepare for self-promotion. Create an action plan for your promotional methods, before putting them in place. We put forth a few tips on getting ready for that limelight, before discovering to sell yourself. Log into the right social accounts, today's biggest success is self-marketing on social media. But it for you to determine which channel is going to get you the right attention before you create social media profiles. You could avail of services of social mediums such as Facebook, DeviantArt, Pinterest, Instagram or even a Snapchat profile too. Know your values, have a vision of the kind of reputation you want to build and work towards it. We recommend you brand yourself with creative media, social posts, and online content. With this place, you'll form an identity for yourself that your prospective clients or investors will consider when doing business with you. The identity you are building could be laid back or funny or professional. Knowing your values helps you to choose the right image or tone of voice for your brand. Strategies that work for self-promotion. The key to good self-marketing is generating enough attention without being unpleasant. For a solid online presence, you need a good network coupled with a strong offline strategy ensuring you have access to many opportunities as possible. Follow these strategies for self-promotion to work. 1. Supplement social media with digital marketing. 2. Connect with thought leaders. 3. Brand everything you do. 4. Stand for something. 5. Consider having a pitch. Find the right tone for marketing. Finding ways to attract attention, establish influence and gain clients, all while self-marketing is a challenge in itself. Always make sure that the personality that you portray resonates with the people. Research, research, and research. As we have mentioned before, researching your audience beforehand can help modulate the right pitch to suit your customers' interests and expectations. When online, you need to rely on the insights of analytics programs to help you optimize for the future. Be an expert. When you are self-promoting, you are showing people what you are best at. Constantly curate and share updated content on social media that's relevant to your customer's chosen field. Anything you share with your followers should be well-researched. Find and track the right groups. Networking is the keyword here when it comes to self-promotion. Social media is an ideal platform for you to find and follow a group relevant to your search for attention. Be precise and interesting. Don't gloat how great you and your services are for over 60 minutes. Instead, provide your audience with something informative and interesting and garner their attention by doing that. It is important to remember that no one enjoys being sold to in this marketplace when you are creating content for self-promotion. We recommend you engage your audience with something that they want to learn about. Be honest and modest. When into self-promoting, honesty counts. It is great sharing your strengths, your stories, and your successes with the world, but it is equally important to be humble too.